Where can you get nice short cut straw for mulching your garden? You can't, so we're gonna make it today. Let's get after it. When it comes to getting garden straw, this is typically what you get. This is straw right off the bale. It's great for mulching the garden, but the problem I've always had with it is it's longer pieces. It doesn't want to lay as well as I want it to. It doesn't lay as flat as I want it to. It doesn't pack in as easily as I want it to. And it's hard to place around standing plants because it's so long. Here's some garden straw that I've chopped up. It's a much smaller size than what you get right off the bale. What I like about this is it's more pourable pourable, if that's a word. It lays flatter, it's easier to place around standing plants. So I like the shorter straw, but you can't buy it this way, so you gotta make it. So longer straw is a problem. Let me show you some examples of that in the field. Mulching around plants like these onions is where I really notice this problem. When you try and take straw right off the bale and go around plants, it's just a lot harder. The straw is longer. It doesn't want to fit into tighter openings. This is where the pourability of smaller cut straw would come in handy. So this is straw right off the bale. Doable, but there is a lot of tucking happening. Let's see what cut straw looks like in the same situation. With cut straw, I have much shorter pieces. That increases the ability to just get it in between plants. You're not forcing it in as much. It lays flatter. I just like cut in small situations like this. Personal preference. When looking at the two side by side, we have the straw straight off the bale, longer pieces, and then you can see a finer straw that's stretched out over here. This, I think when you just drop it, lays really well. There's more air in this one, and this just lays flatter. This is also, like I said, it's more pourable. It can lay flat versus this, which you can't really pour it. It wants to clump. This straw problem is something that's bugged me for a long time. Dear Abby, am I the only one with this problem? My straw is just too long. Knowing that I have this problem and the product doesn't exist locally, I figured I had to go out and try and make something. What could we do on a home scale to take long straw like this and turn it into something finer like this? You could lay a bunch of straw on your driveway and run it over with a lawnmower, but I don't have a lawnmower and that's really a single use piece of equipment for me, so I don't wanna buy one, so lawnmower's out. You could run a bunch of straw through a wood chipper, but again, I don't have one, I don't really want one, and I think that might be, you know, killing flies with hammers. It's overkill. There's gotta be an easier way. But I do have these two tools, and maybe one of them will work for you. This is the Lawn Master Leaf Blower Shredder Combo. I bought this on Amazon for $70. Here's how it works in the vacuum mode. Material gets sucked up this tube, it goes through a metal impeller, which chops it up, and it ends up inside this bag, all nicely cut up. The cons of this system are, it can clog in the chute, it's relatively slow compared to the works, and you have a low volume of storage in this bag. On the plus side, it's easy to use. It's also, I think, a little bit safer and less dicey if you wanted to have somebody younger use it. It can dual purpose as a blower, so if you wanted that feature, you have it. And it's a little bit easier to store because it's nice and small. This is the Works Leaf Mulcher. It's available on Amazon. I bought it for $180. It's a string trimmer based shredder. Put your material in, there's a string trimmer like attachment here. That spins around, it chops everything up, it goes into the bag below. Here's what our cut material looks like coming out of the Lawn Master. Chopped pretty fine, and I would say again, pourable. To spread it out, pretty simple. At this point, you're just, you're pushing it. You couldn't do this with regular straw. Now let's see what it looks like coming out of the works. <laughs> This is what it looks like coming out of the works. I mean, here we're talking seriously shredded, like shredded cheese shredded. Tiny, fluffy, super easy to pour. Let's, let's take a closer look at this versus what came out of the Lawn Master. The works. 
Lawn Master. And if we can pair that to straw off the bale, here's what we have here. Longer pieces, harder to compact, shorter pieces, more pourable. I mean, this is why pillows use tiny, small feathers, not huge, long eagle feathers in them, because small things compact better. They're softer, you are fluffier, and you can get more of them into the same amount of space versus something that's longer. And using the works, what are my thoughts? One, it's dusty. I mean, dusty roads, dusty here. You're gonna have to wear a mask. It's not as fast as I would have thought. It's not as fast as some of the reviews on Amazon would have suggested, but I think it's still gonna be faster than the Lawn Master because I can go straight into a big bag versus a much smaller bag attached to the Lawn Master. It also makes much, much finer cut straw than the Lawn Master did. One thought on the works is it's a little bit dicey. I mean, you have a spinning string trimmer here and you're, you're pushing stuff into it like this, obviously not with your hands. So having some sort of stick to shove this stuff down would make sense. Some of the straw did want to kind of bind up in here. I don't know how this would play out over using it over a long time, half an hour of grinding, but so far so good. If you want, I'll do a full review on the works at some point in the future, but for now, I like it. Given these two different tools, which one would I recommend? I think for me, the works is going to be a better long-term solution. It made finer straw, and it's probably more versatile for me for what I want to use it for. Meaning, I'd like to chop up some garden stuff with it, old potato plants and things like that. I'm not sure if it can handle it, given it's only a string trimmer, but I kind of got dreams and fantasies of hooking like a piece of chain up to it or a big blade and having that spin or even just taking the motor off and using the housing and, and upgrading the electric motor so we can really do some slicing and dicing. But that's another story for another day and maybe another video for another day. For me, the works takes it. But if you want a shredder and you're also in the market for a blower and who wouldn't want a good blower, then go with the LeafMaster because it can blow and shred. Now you may say, well, damn Diego, that's a lot of work for a little bit of straw and you wouldn't be wrong at all. This is a solution for somebody gardening on a smaller scale that wants to have small straw for their intended application. If you're on a big scale, you're gonna have to find something different to do this because this is not gonna work scaled up. Making tiny, tiny cut straw to solve that garden problem that you didn't even know that you had. There's two great tools for it. I hope they help. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be nice, be thankful, and do the work.